Welcome back. Now let's build that menu. In this exercise, we'll add that navigation menu to our site and we'll get some practice with events and actions. For this exercise, we'll use the documentation for AMP Sidebar and for AMP events and actions. AMP Sidebar is a panel of content that is initially hidden off the screen. When the sidebar opens, the panel of content slides into view. The sidebar is opened by calling an action on the component. It can open on either the right or left sides of the screen. The sidebar remains visible on the screen until it is closed via an action or until the user clicks outside of the component. Now use the documentation to add a navigation menu that hides the menu's content until it is opened. If you call the sidebar sidebar1, you can use the following actions to open it. You can use sidebar1.open or sidebar1.toggle or just sidebar1 by itself. That's the default to open it. The navigation menu can be closed with the action sidebar1.close. Here are some more details. In the header element, you'll add a div containing the horizontal bars icon that toggles the menu when it's tapped. Give that div the class navbar-trigger. Add an AMP sidebar component with the ID sidebar1 and class sidebar. The AMP sidebar should slide out from the left-hand side of the screen, and the sidebar should also contain a nav tag with the class nav. Add a list of four items to the menu. Our story, our bikes, latest models, and contact. These links should all go to the pound for now. We'll add the actual URLs later. Implement the list of links as an unordered list, which contains a list of items. The list items should contain anchor links. UL tags should have the class label. LI tags should have the class nav-item. And you add a div to the sidebar with an X that closes the menu when it's tapped. If that's a lot to remember, you can always refer to the course text on the AMP website. Now, let's go ahead and pause this video and try it out for yourself. When you're done, the code for the header should be like the HTML on your screen. Notice the new div with class navbar trigger and with that on attribute. The on attribute says, when the user taps this element, toggle the visibility of the element with ID sidebar one. And here's the solution for AMP sidebar itself. Notice that it has the ID sidebar one and the side attribute tells AMP to slide it out from the left. Notice also the X button, which also toggles the visibility of the element with ID sidebar one. We couldn't fit all the menu items on the screen here, but they all look similar to the one shown here. Because AMP sidebar is an extended component, you also should have added its script in the head like this. Now, did you make sure to check the AMP validator while you were making this menu? If so, you might have seen validation errors like these. Two different errors appear here. These errors are duplicated for each of the clickable elements to which we attached an on attribute. But why? <laughs> the answer is AMP is actually enforcing best practices for accessibility, which is uh -huh. very important. Mm -hmm. Interactive elements need additional attributes for people using assistive technologies, like screen readers. AMP is making sure that your pages are accessible to them. Let's look at the first error. We'd added a div element that acts as a button. That is, the div is clickable and it triggers an event when it's clicked. For an assistive technology like a screen reader, it needs to know which elements are behaving like buttons so it can tell the user that. If your element can't be clicked, the screen reader has to know about it. To get rid of this error, you have to add simply a role equals button attribute to each clickable div, or simply use a button tag instead of a div tag. Let's look at the second error. Buttons allow for user interaction, so they're focusable, and AMP knows this. If a user navigates your web page using a keyboard, they can highlight and interact with any focusable component. To get rid of this error, add a tab index to the div tags that toggle the sidebar. This lets the users reach the element using their keyboard. <laughs> 